Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. So I just recently came back from Tokyo, had a wonderful time, uh, bought lots of uh, weird stuff. One of which is this yakisoba. Uh, it has nothing on it uh, except for Gekikara Max N. So it's, gonna, it's supposed to be spicy. I don't know how spicy that is, but um, yeah, the package kind of looked interesting to me, so I got it. Um, also, I got this. Wait, I put this here. Also, I got this. <laughs> this curry. It's chicken. Uh, is it chicken curry? It's uh, yeah, it's chicken curry. Um, on, on front, on the front of it, it has like um, 18 years old, and it's it's crossed. I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but it says um, it's for people above 18 years old, I think. Also, here on the side, it says like it's it's like super duper painfully spicy. I'm gonna be excited for that. I'm gonna do this uh, as a special event on my stream. I put the link uh, into the description. You can check it out if you want. But besides that, I also went to Akihabara, right? So you gotta go to Akihabara um, if you're into Gundam, and that's why I got. These. Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made a vlog about how I got my hands on, on these. Um, you can check it out. Uh, have fun watching it. Um, tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video, right? What's good guys? We're in Akihabara today. It's super windy. I'm trying to film this. I hope uh, you guys can hear me. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a voiceover. Um, so I'm doing Gundam shopping today. I'm looking for three kits in particular. That is a high grade Zaku 2 and uh, the original RG uh, RX 78 and then the real grade Sasabi. I'm planning on going to three places today. Uh, one of them you can see behind in the back. So the first one is going to be Yorobashi Kamara. Then the second one uh, is going to be Big Kamara. And the third one is going to be um, uh, Ami Ami at the Radio Kaikan. Alright, so let's go. Right off the bat, when you enter the 6th floor, it's Gundam all over the place, I'll tell you, I kid you not, wherever you look, it's all Gundam, I didn't even know where to start. So besides Gundam, they also have all sorts of action figures, here you can see uh, Star Wars SH figure arts. I have so much trouble getting my hands on them here in Germany and here they are within reach. Same goes for the Dragon Ball figures. Wish I could buy them so easily here as well. Dang it, I should have gotten some. <laughs> oh and there it is, the Sazabi, right in front of my nose. It's crazy, like wherever you look, there are so many boxes with so many Gunpla, you don't even know what to buy. Like if you spend half an hour there, your mind explodes. Look at the new Gundam punching the Sazabi in the face. And there's the master grade Sinanji Stein version. Perfect grade Gundams. One day, my friend, you're gonna be on my shelf here. And this one's just 15,000 yen. Dang it, man. <laughs> I 
Look at all those high grade boxes stacked there. It's, it's, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Also, if you're in need of tools for your Gunpla hobby, you can find it here. I actually bought some little tools for myself. So on my way from Yorubashi to the main street, I decided to make a quick jump into Book, uh, book Off. Book Off is, is kind of like your thrift store for video games, uh, CD, music CDs, manga, the magazines, all, all that kind of stuff. Look at the Wii U's here lined up in the shelf. It's like nobody wants them wrapped in those paperbacks. It's so sad actually. Yeah, and if you're looking for uh, games for older consoles, you're going to find them here. Most of the time it's going to be mainstream games, I think. The more exotic titles or more rare titles, I don't think you're going to find them here. Especially with Super Nintendo titles. Uh, I tried to find any uh, rare titles here, but apparently there was, there was none. So for the more exotic titles, you have to go into the back streets of Akihabara. There are stores which have them if, if you if you dig deep enough. Also check out those handhelds. I was thinking of getting a PS Vita, but uh, I ended up like skipping on it. And here's how one of those manga floors look like. It's really cramped in there. I made my first purchase. Uh, I got the high grade Zaku and um, a present for a friend who asked me to get uh, I don't know, some, some cool figure. I chose an SD version of the original RX-78. Uh, and now I'm heading over to the main street and see what I can find there. You know what's awesome? I paid around 800 yen for, for that Zaku. That, that, what is that? Six, five or six bucks? You could never get a, a Gundam kit it's that, that cheap in Germany. That's so awesome. You know, it's a, it's a pain in the, in the ass that I just bought one suitcase, but I would totally fill it up and, and buy even more stuff. But what are you gonna do? 
On my way to Big Camera, I decided to take a little detour. Uh, actually a tour that I used to do back then uh, when I studied in Japan back in 2009 every Friday after language school I would go to Akihabara uh, eat at Matsuya first I would always eat bibimbap and then go over to one of those arcades this one actually I just uh, put into the video because a friend of mine asked me to but uh, the arcade that I used to go to is just uh, a couple of meters away from this one. So the Tamashi Nation store is new to me. Back then when I was there I didn't see that so this must be new. I have no clue when they open it but uh, it was packed with all of the SH figures that you could dream of. So here's the arcade that I was talking about. It's called Hey, just simply Hey. <laughs> um, they have two floors. The second floor here that you can see is it's all over with uh, shoot 'em up games. And then the next floor, uh, taking the escalator up, is going to be the beat 'em up games. That's where I spend most of my, my my time on Friday evenings. Gundam was not really my game back then. I was more into Street Fighter. Uh, getting my ass handed to by regular blue-collar workers in Street Fighter Alpha 3 or Street Fighter 3rd Strike. So this used to be one of my favorite games back then. I would play that all the time with a friend uh, from Switzerland that I met in Tokyo. Uh, this game is called Lord of Vermilion and is a collectible card arcade game that you play with this machine which has this sensor surface which recognizes your cards and projects them into the game itself so that you can control them. Uh, it's difficult to explain but uh, a lot of fun I'll tell you. So Big Camera is basically like Yodobashi. I just feel like it's a little bit smaller and more cramped, but the selection of goods that they have there, I think it's on par with Yodobashi. What I liked in both of those stores is they had all the gunplas that you're interested in. They actually built them and set them up in those small booths so you can check out how they actually look and help you decide on which one to get. And still all those gunpla boxes, it's just, it's a dream come true I'm telling you. <laughs> So here's where I got my Sazabi. I paid 3,600 yen for this one. It turns out other stores sell this kit for 4,500 yen. So I got lucky here. All right, mission complete for now. I think I'm gonna head over to Ami Ami and see uh, what they have there. Okay, I got three kits and I'm, I'm still below 5,000 yen. This is so, so awesome. Uh, I'm heading to the last place now because time is running and um, I'm supposed to meet my girlfriend to go to the sky tree but before before we do that let's go to Radio Kaikan first and let's see what Ami Ami has Ami Ami is not a dedicated uh, Gunpla store but a merchandise store for all sorts of anime They have uh, different booths dedicated to different shows. Like this one says Haikyuu, uh, even though this is Todoroki. And then uh, this uh, amazing Yamaguchi Revoltek series with those infamous joints. That's the Ghibli booth, for example. Uh, this one's 
pretty big in comparison to all the other booths. It says uh, like Jibri ga ipai. Like Jibri to your heart's content. Like <laughs> I'm done with Radio Kaika. Uh, got another bag. <laughs> and uh, now I'm heading back to Oshiage. And then um, we're gonna we're gonna go on the sky tower at night. But dang, I'm tired. So I'll see you later. So that's my loot for the day. Uh, if you're interested into a more detailed video of the stuff that I got, uh, just let me know in the comments, right guys?